Hello, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right. So in this video, we are going to talk about how can we traverse these embedded objects and retrieve a specific properties value. Okay, or for that matter, execute a method inside these embedded objects. And what are the special precautions that we have to take care of while creating or invoking our objects if they are some special characters into the, the keys of these objects? All right, so here's an object that I have created and this sounds simple right we have already talked about embedded objects but this is different so here we have a space between these two words and here what i have done is i enclose them within these double quotes for a reason so if i remove that first right and hit enter so i get an error so what we can do next is we can say okay let's replace it by an hyphen so if I do that, I again get an error and this time it talks about this minus, right? So minus is what? Minus is an operator in JavaScript, all right? So what we are doing is we are subtracting two words, which is not possible, okay? So how can we handle such cases? So the solution to that is you have to enclose them within either single or double quote okay so this is how you are going to create such object so you hit enter your object is now created now let's see how can we access them okay so we have seen that if i have to access this width property how can i do so i can do compute i can use the member access operator computer dot let's say width and hit enter the value is returned all right, let's try the same now with start minus comp. And if I do this, so again, it is giving us the error. So how can I retrieve this particular function or the property, right? So again, the answer is you have to use computed member access operator instead of member access operator so whatever you write between these two square bracket that would be computed so if i pass it in like this right it will look out for a variable with the name start and then use this operator minus and then this operator right but this is not what we want we want the whole string so now this thing will be computed to start hyphen comp and if you do so you get the function back and how can you invoke a function of course uh, don't do hung up on this we have to cover function in a different video so you just use these double brackets and hit enter so your function is invoked all right so this is how when we have these special uh, we have spaces or we have you know hyphen then we have to use these quotes and while invoking these values we have to use computed member access operator instead of member access operator where can you find all that so remember in the operators video we have talked about operators precedence so if you go to this site go to this particular table right there you could see that there is a member access operator and there is a computed member access operator both share the same precedence and the associativity is from left to right so remember we did what we did we did computer dot width computer dot so computer it starts from the left so first the computer object is fetched and then with the help of these two operators right we are fetching the respective properties or methods okay so make sure that this is a very important table anytime you are stuck and you are not getting the right response could be the case that you are not using these operators in the right way all right so this is about how to access these special cases properties all right thank you so much thanks for watching